Hi everyone, uh, Fusum Hamshar with you. Uh, our today's subject is about uh, power degradation for uh, photovoltaic. Um, actually, this model is uh, it's about uh, uh, actual data, um, uh, which is uh, which is recorded from the solar field, and um, it measure for a long uh, a long time of span or uh, span of time. Uh, the power degradation of uh, photovoltaic uh, for uh, more than 10 years and we would like to simulate such uh, uh, data and to see the effect of uh, um, time on the performance of your or uh, photovoltaic or the performance of your uh, uh, power production from the photovoltaic system first of all open your matlab okay after you download your model open your matlab first first uh, of, a, of everything is to open your matlab then go try to go to your destination folder from uh, from here uh, suppose i uh, this is my drive my working folder and and this is my model i have to go directly to my model from here okay so this is my data don't forget to click here to uh, sort my name and uh, to group by type. This is very important. Okay, and you you'll find your uh, output data. I mean uh, your uh, models. We have here uh, performance model. This photovoltaic model. We already uh, um, encountered uh, uh, some videos about this one. This is performance model. We can double click here. Just double click. We can see. Okay, this is ordinary photovoltaic model. Okay. So in this one we can uh, we can measure uh, the power output this one okay and we can uh, use this one for dynamic system if you would like or a single point uh, solver okay double clicking here this one also you can measure output uh, photon current module saturation current PV current power and total this is your total power and if you go here and double clicking you can assign some important operating conditions what is your temperature and the temperature or reference temperature and the solar radiation uh, short circuit current open circuit voltage uh, uh, short circuit coefficient electron discharge and uh, resistance i think this one should be 1.5 uh, resistance uh, types you can this is for ideality vacuum is it uh, monocrystalline, uh, SI polycrystalline, uh, SIH, uh, different types you can use, or you can handle, if you can select and compare if you would like, uh, fill factor, efficiency, it's number of cells, number of modules, cells in parallel should be one, and cell area, because this is performance model, so uh, the design aspects is, and operating conditions is already known, and we would like to measure the, the uh, performance of your uh, or the production power production and efficiency uh, as you can see here we have overall efficiency thermal efficiency electrical efficiency and module efficiency okay uh, you can click here stop here we can run this with respect to the time if you would like and closing okay this is our main model here today double clicking uh, this one is um, PV neural network for power degradation system. Okay, okay. What we have here? Uh, let's uh, prepare my. Uh, okay, so um, first of everything, if anything, you have to double click here. If you double click here, you can uh, uh, log into your uh, system or your model mask. From here, I can. Uh, this is my control palette, so I can uh, control my uh, my module or system. We have to consider the following uh, day number month uh, oper operational years it's around from 1 up to 10 11 years and what is my current time okay this is from uh, 0 up to uh, 23 hours ambient temperature no no more than 30 degrees Celsius but we can exceed that 
we can exceed ancillary addition okay we can exceed these ranges how can i control this or create this by mask uh, first of all you can right click here right click on the mother block here and go into the mask and select edit mask or control m for from here you can uh, see you this is your document you can edit this it is uh, uh, fully opened uh, you can edit this you can delete even even you can delete this okay you can uh, delete it if you would like so if you hit apply and okay there is no documentation up here so let's return it back okay okay this is my uh, uh, okay apply I would like to save this for another uh, version or save as to another version let it be underscore uh, VD for example because I will run it in dynamic mode I intended to do this okay so this is my uh, version okay control M again okay and this is image you can uh, if you add here percent sign there's no image appear will appear here it will disappear okay so we can you can control this also okay and you can edit these things okay parameters let's go for the parameters we have here uh, our parameters which are intended to control the parameters uh, who controls um, uh, parameters who controls uh, uh, the panel day number so there is no more than 31 from 1 to 31 a month of course 12 months operational year it is uh, recorded by from 1 up to 11 year a current time from 0 to 23 and the temperature I can exceed this if I would like I can exceed it up to 30, uh, 35 degrees Celsius okay let it be begin from 1 okay and uh, 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 GHI which is a uh, pop per meter square uh, I can uh, exceed or decrease my uh, uh, watt per meter square if I would like this is minimum and maximum this is your your value okay so this is if you intended to deal with your mask okay okay another thing that we would like to uh, let's go double clicking here suppose First of all, I have to set my uh, my points, okay. And suppose this is my uh, uh, points which I uh, would like to discover my results. This is my model. We have four types. We have uh, four types: uh, sun grid uh, poly crystalline, and sun grid uh, mono crystalline. And we have here. BB, uh, this is the type from the manufacturer BB polycrystalline and uh, monocrystalline. Uh, the data uh, underneath these uh, blocks are uh, modeled by artificial neural network. Uh, we have more than 1 million and 400 uh, set of points which. Uh, we uh, intended to uh, manipulate and we already um, uh, designed this by neural network you have to refer to our previous videos about how to do this I will show you just one example because it, uh, it will take more and more time uh, to do this again and this is my fit data example of my regression data so as you can see here we have almost 0.99 root square which is um, nearest to or near to one which is favorable and uh, quite good uh, 0.99 is quite good uh, um, accuracy for our model set your simulation time into zero saving run your model and we can uh, get our results based on my uh, data okay so as you can see here for this one uh, under this operative condition and this is specified days or, uh, or months as you can see we are in uh, June uh, 20th the 1st of June uh, after five years okay and the current time is uh, let it be 12 middle of the day ambient temperature 22 solar radiation is about for example a triple eight okay and we can see here our results you can compare between uh, all so this is I need two things 
the first current and active power for all this is my first current and active power as you can see here uh, 4.5 kilowatts and this is your specification uh, for this one and this is your specification menu for this one and we have here for BB type we have 3.5 and 3.6 for monocrystalline uh, under this specific day of operation okay suppose I would like to run this and uh, don't forget to send your result to data inspector okay let's uh, suppose I would like to how I, I, I create that suppose I have for example solar radiation uh, IS okay and it is equal uh, from one step one up to uh, step 50 okay and up to 1000 about per meter square this is my input and I have uh, for example um, a power output which is I, I would like to write the same just an example 250 and 1000 watts okay so I have here one input and one output so, uh, so I, I would like to uh, module to uh, um, make my model by this so I have to click on neural network and uh, this is just example I uh, in my in, in, in my real model we we have six inputs for two outputs okay this is a uh, uh, the magnificent of uh, of neural network so this is my input and as you can see here is my output okay I think uh, it is row uh, okay and click next validation I I go for uh, for testing I go for 10 percent next uh, five uh, number of uh, hidden neurons okay and click next and click train uh, just like that uh, okay and you can here measure your performance between the train and test and uh, is it near the best option or not okay and you can plot your regression as you can see here it is almost one so this is fine so uh, uh, such like that we we uh, modeled this system okay and suppose I would like to uh, control this automatically okay or um, under the set of data if I would like to uh, to control the second option is to write here infinity and and you can measure this uh, th the change of your input parameters instantly okay so infinity saving going to the mother and mother block and double clicking preparing my menu returning back and I will hit run and try to control this instantly okay and don't forget to send your data of to visualize your data from here just a uh, click on uh, on your the signal and select this one okay this is small square you realize this visual signal uh, from here okay uh, I will hit run and see if I change some parameter let's hit run and let's go quickly so I, I will increase by keyboard up and down increase solar radiation as you can see uh, and decreasing it back again okay suppose uh, okay let's increase the operational time okay uh, five years okay and as you can see here six years okay the change of power uh, will occur so uh, you can measure this instantly uh, with time uh, with infinity domain time okay let's go and click here on data inspector and in order to measure your result and you can compare you can compare all between all for example this is my uh, let's see emphasize here uh, sun grid uh, active power okay this is the effect of solar radiation increasing and decreasing and this is the effect of your year year okay you can compare this with sun grid mono okay as you realize the difference between uh, two modules power degradation and active power here for this and active power for this one okay and, and so on you can uh, compare your output and your result based on your uh, technique 
Okay, so this is manually. Uh, just a to fill your system. And let's delete all from here. Okay. And you can add more slots from here if you would like. Okay. Uh, suppose I would uh, I would like to to uh, to control this automatically with respect to a time domain. Uh, let's have another method. Um, let's go here for my uh, uh, model uh, settings and suppose I would like to run this uh, from uh, uh, one year to eleven years. Okay, and. And this one is, uh, I would like to see uh, under a specific uh, month. Let's go for, for example, the, the 21st of any month. And we have here, uh, let's go for July and uh, this is operational time, okay. In current time, suppose I would like to, the middle of the day, ambient temperature, uh, let it be 25. And solar radiation is about 1000. Okay. Uh, and hit OK. And let's go here. Okay. So I would like to set my uh, axis as uh, my uh, years. And let's go for model browser. Let's go for sources and clock. I will drag this clock. Okay. And put it here. And operational years, I will remove it. Control X and put it here. Control V and comment it. Let's comment it in order. Okay. Why I'm doing this? In order not to, uh, there is no effect here. By this dial will not affect my uh, my uh, inputs here because I already commented it. Okay. And I will connect my clock here. This clock will uh, will assign your Time your modeling time, which is from one to eleven, okay. As as I mean, input your system here. Let's saving, and uh, let's hit run and see uh, was this respected. Okay, it finished, and uh, going inside. Let's compare for this poly. Okay, as you can see here, uh, this is the power degradation of your model. It's line for poly si sun grid poly and let's compare to pb poly also okay as you as you realize there there is a difference between two okay sun grid mono and 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 bb mono let's see i'm sorry this is the current here's yes, the current current and power i need to compare power and uh, let's see if i compare the power a sun grid mono uh, active power okay and uh, pb uh, active power okay uh, okay so you can compare this if you'd like another method let's let's delete all another method uh, suppose i would like to uh, to change all settings at once uh, uh, for that uh, option I, I will reconnect this again for that option I have to um, uh, consider a signal builder I, I need a signal builder let's go for the signal builder or you can uh, use your data from a spreadsheet if you would like you can connect your uh, excel sheet to your system but suppose I have a signal builder here because I would like to uh, create my signal by myself uh, for example, uh, let's go for, um, let's emphasize, I have, uh, let's edit this one. Uh, I'm sorry, I need to, yes, access. Let's go for 11 years, from 1 up to 11 years. Okay, and this signal, I'm, I'm just showing you an example and you can manage this. Suppose I have... Uh, a solar radiation uh, for example let's go by custom a time value is, is this from one step one up to 11 and solar the uh, I'm sorry 11 and for solar radiation I need uh, let it be 11 months so for uh, a long uh, 
that is I need to examine uh, let it be we need 11 values suppose it's uh, 200 okay let's make a matrix here okay that's uh, 11 uh, uh, actually I suppose to prepare this uh, before doing this but I forget to do this and um, I'm not sure I'm just trying here okay uh, this is one two three let's see if we have 11 values here oh I'm sorry it's not 11 values I have to prepare this before doing this uh, let's see if I have uh, I prepared the model for this one uh, I'm let's go back and I, I I would like to examine if I have um, uh, from my previous models if I have an Excel sheet with uh, solar and time and I think this one uh, let's see if I have this one it's supposed to be and I'm not sure no not this one okay and uh, okay let's see if uh, okay maybe this one okay okay maybe this one okay uh, dynamic model for this one okay okay not this one also it seems to be this one okay okay um, the solar radiation and I'm not sure if I have this one I'm not sure and uh, maybe I need just a, 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 an already system because I, I, would, I would like to waste my time with this uh, so maybe this one okay okay months day hour this one I think this is 24 hours we need yes for example this is one year let's copy this one day months hour control C uh, let's inspect this firstly uh, this is average and suppose to be this one. yes let's take this one copy this one and return it back to my model and uh, okay let's go here close this okay so uh, I already this this one is pre already prepared suppose I have let's not uh, go to comment okay uh, suppose you have day number along uh, one year okay and this is your months this is your months okay and this is your current time okay uh, uh, I would like to see if I can uh, swap this okay for day let's uh, okay control X put it here uh, months control X here and current time control X put it here and comment it comment all of this I think we can comment like this uh, yes and I, I will reconnect this day number day number okay I'm just a, uh, just an example and as you can see his this uh, from you can use this from signal routing from here signal routing okay this is from if you would like to uh, connect your uh, input data and go to if you would like to send your uh, your data okay so instead of connecting for each one of these four uh, types it just it, we can use a signal routing order to send the data at once uh, and at the same time with uh, no uh, uh, problem we can coordinate connect the current time and uh, let's see if we have here um, the time domain should be time okay from one up to eight thousand 
so let's say changes let's say okay control v i'm just trying and you have the ability to uh, to examine and see saving uh, let's hit run and see okay what is our effect okay uh, okay oh this is your uh, because of solar radiation Mm, yes, because of your time, uh, it is affected on by solar radiation. And let's see here. Okay, the power. This is your current. This is your power. Okay, and uh, okay. Effect, this is poly. Mm, yes, it depends on your input data from from your Excel sheet that we uh, already uh, prepared. Okay. So and let's delete all and see. Uh, uh, it depends on two things. Your uh, what is your uh, shape of your input data? This is for uh, uh, I think this is for operation. Let's go for uh, ten years. Let's see. Okay, let's see. And you can compare. This is for ten years. Okay. this is 14 years okay okay and let's go here and okay i will close this and return it back again and change to five years of operation financial time and hit run let's go here you can compare now your results uh, okay, this is your second run. This is the power for uh, uh, five years, and this is 14 years. Uh, you realize the difference. There is a uh, loss in power, uh, of course, as you can see here. Let's see this one. Uh, this, this is active. Uh, let's go for sun grid mono. Okay, active power. Sun grid mono active power, this one. Yes, of course, this is five after five years of operation, and this is for uh, 10 years of operation. So the power has decreased, as you can see here. Okay, and let's delete all again. And okay, so it's up to you. You can connect your Excel sheet, you can connect your input data, you can draw one line, you can draw one point, you can. Uh, extract uh, uh, many fluctuation of from your system and you can compare all of these uh, results uh, at once that's uh, I would like to to drag this here okay okay so and um, if this is if you double click here you will find there's nothing here because this you can from here in, inspect from here this is sun grid mono or poly you will find your a neural network uh, system which is created by a Semilink the Semilink neural network as I showed you uh, before okay and so uh, in, in this model it is uh, quite interesting to uh, measure your uh, power degradation from this model from this model okay I can collect my results and create another correlation along uh, 10 years or or five years or six years and try to edit this one as a photovoltaic system performance this model uh, okay so I can use this correlation to suppose I, I, I hit run here okay this is ordinary photo photovoltaic uh, system and this is your total power for under these specifications okay so I can uh, 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 multiply the power by the per percentage of degradation along the years and I can enter my years here I can right click control M for the mask going to the parameters and I can exceed here after for solar radiation here for example I can uh, make choose edit okay and type here uh, for example uh, operate operating 
Uh, okay, let us go here. Operating uh, year. Operating time, for example. Uh, let it be by years. Okay, and OP uh, time. And for example, five years. Okay, and uh, hit apply. And okay, let's go inside. So I can edit this and let's drag another one from here. Okay, I'm just preparing this one. And I will comment it, of course. And I uh, it is operating uh, years. Okay, so I can use this in order to control the output power after uh, a specific time domain along five years, two years, in order to measure your uh, actual data. Of course, there is a percentage, as you can see here, the year uh, has been added. There is a percentage for uh, monocrystalline and there is different percentage for polycrystalline, okay? It is not one correlation. You have to create two different correlations for each type based on your uh, measured data uh, from your location, okay? Uh, finally, I would like to thank you very much for your uh, interest in our model. Don't forget to like, uh, share, and uh, subscribe. Uh, thank you very much.